Hey everyone, and welcome to day 24 of the Audiology uh, Agency launch. Today, we're going to continue our conversations about standard operating procedures. So yesterday I shared which procedures I'm actually gonna need to function within this business, but I wanna talk a little bit about the, the technique or the style that I used to do this. Cause again, as I mentioned yesterday, I used to be very poor at giving people these instructions and, and I, I'm now become very good at it. So this is how I visualize them. So you saw, I'm gonna walk through this one a little bit, but essentially when my admin comes on board, this is everything that needs to be done. And there's uh, links and access to everything that they would possibly need to do all the different tasks. So let me talk a little bit about how you get here. So oftentimes when we are giving somebody an instruction, we already know the process so well that we start further ahead than the beginning. So think about it like you're starting at step four of 10 instead of one. And that, that you know, when that's how I've seen a lot of people make this type of material. And the problem is the person who's adjusting to coming into the role, they might be wondering what one through four is. And if you don't, if you're not explicit with that, if you don't tell them, they're not going to know and they're going to take guesses because they don't want to look dumb. So it's really, really important to step all the way back when you're creating procedures. So what I do is I turn off my computer, especially because most of these processes are going to be digital processes. And I dictate on my phone, I just set a voice recorder and I say, step one, do this. And so when I'm recording it, I'm, I'm almost making it as if someone is on the other end of the line. I can't see their screen. They're looking at a computer and I'm telling them what to do. So the level of detail that's required to get there when you're not looking at your screen and someone else is trying to follow along, um, there's a lot more information there. So you really have to close your eyes and say, okay, when you go here on the top right, you should see this, you're gonna click this. And then you talk, you know, you'll explain why and how and, and all, the, all the functionality of those things. And you really wanna cover um, every question, every facet, every option. Because if you don't, again, it's going to create uh, it's going to create friction and it's going to create confusion when the other person is doing something. So let's take a quick look. So even this, so setting up a calendar task. So I send this to my virtual assistant. I say, hey, I need I need a new meeting set up, right? So I can forward her that information whatever way that I want. But what happens if uh, I don't set a time and date? What happens if uh, the times and dates that I send don't work for that person. So that all has to be in incorporated into here. So just as simple as setting up a calendar task. So I'm going to forward you the basic details. I'll send it to you via email or Slack. So you will get an email or Slack message from me saying, I need this meeting. So then if there's a date and time set up, put it in the calendar, create a Zoom link, invite all relevant parties, uh, and then add any additional links. So if we're referencing a, a, a document, make sure the document's there. If we're reviewing a proposal, make sure the proposal is there. And then what, what happens if there's not a time and date, right? So first step is to provide a Calendly link. And you can see two pages below. Here's all the different calendar links, depending on the type of conversation, right? Um, and, uh, or you can provide manual timing. So if I, if I specify, then, then which one to do, do that. If it's manual, I want it to be Monday, Wednesday, or Friday um, after 11 a.m. And you have to provide them two dates and times. So now we're getting really into the weeds of like, if this, then that, and it's really important to go into. Um, so I do this for everything. It doesn't matter how mundane it is. So if I'm, if I'm closing my eyes and, and imagining, right, uh, I'm, I'm saying, hey, go into the calendar. So in this, you know, if you see a podcast recorded or a recording booked, right? So I'm saying, okay, go to the calendar, see if there's anything labeled podcast because they're automatically called podcast. And if they are, um, you know, go to Zoom cloud recording, get the recording, put it in this folder. So this folder links out to where all of our podcasts are. And if there's no fo folder with that name on it, um, create, a name, create it and then put all the, the materials in there. So, so again, we're trying to eliminate, so we're creating links, additional training videos that go outside of this for every different use case and every different scenario. So creating this at first is time consuming because you're you know, iterating it, you're recording it, you're doing it, oh, I missed this step, I missed that step. But if you take a couple hours to build each of these decks out, they will save you an insane amount of time in the future and uh, it's made my life a lot easier.